right, good morning everybody. Welcome to another round of Coffee and Questions. What's today's topic? I want to talk about the Harbor Freight 310 Low Profile Jack, Floor Jack. And I bought one. I had one and for decades probably and something bent on it and it wouldn't jack upright. Anyway, I got rid of it and I decided after a period of time because I'm an intermittent user, I probably needed another one, especially for that golf cart project if you've been following me. In order to change out the bushings and stuff, yeah, I could have done it with a bottle jack and jack stands, but it'd be a lot easier, a good time for me just to go ahead and get another floor jack. So I could have bought ones that were a lot cheaper and I thought, no, I'm just going to spend the extra money. This was about $175. plus tax. So for an intermittent thing, I don't know, but I mean, I wanted it and I wanted a good one. And after reading all the reviews and I'll do questions and answers in a little bit, I went ahead and I went out and I bought one. So I got it home. Now I've also read through the reviews and there's a couple of things I want to check over kind of tips, tricks, whatever you want to call it and make sure this thing is going to perform, you know, without any problems. Now the first one is I want to check the hydraulic fluid level and I want to make sure that there's no air in the system. So it's kind of quick and easy. Over here on the side you're going to see two screws and there's two screws on the opposite side. I'm going to remove all four of those and we'll go from there. So give me just a sec. Okay, after removing all four screws, you can remove this plate right here. And then that's going to give you access down to where you put the hydraulic fluid in. So I'll pan down and show you. Okay, so right here is the fill screw. And it takes a standard screwdriver. So I'm going to take this off. We'll take a look and see if it's filled with hydraulic fluid. Okay, with the screw off, I decided to go ahead and let's put in some hydraulic jack oil. Now I have some, I'll leave you a link below. I got it on sale on Amazon, blah, 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 but I don't know if it has enough. Now when I look down inside of there, it's not all the way to the top. So what I did is I simply went ahead and added hydraulic jack oil to it and I filled it up. Now it took more than I would have thought it was going to take, but it's the way it is. They just uh, didn't ship it with enough hydraulic oil in it. So I'm going to replace the screw, but I'm not going to tighten it all the way down yet. We get it in there a few turns. Now if you take the handle and turn it counterclockwise and you give it just like a couple of pumps here, you'll see the oil starts to seep out around that screw. So now you know the air is out of the system. I'm going to dry it off good. I'm going to go ahead. Let's tighten the screw up. Now people complain that it leaks don't over tighten the screw just snug it down real good um, if you do still have a problem with it leaking you can go to an auto supply store pretty much anywhere get a little rubber seal put it on there you're good to go so okay so for right now there we go now what's the next thing I didn't trust that it had enough oil and sure enough it did not so now we're going to take a look I want to take a look at the grease fitting there's only one on here so now what I want to do is I want to take a look at that grease fitting right here. There's only one on this jack, but I didn't trust the oil and I was right. It was too low or didn't have enough in there. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a couple of pumps. Okay, there we go. It may have had enough grease in it, but just in case, just as a precaution, no any problems. Okay, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to replace that plate that we took off and then what the instructions say is put it under load like slide it under something heavy turn it clockwise and go ahead and jack it up and you should be home free I'm not going to put it under load on the video uh, you can do that on your own but uh, that's the next step okay let's flip over to questions and answers now and see what people have got to say and I'll give you my response okay folks so question and answer time and the first thing is somebody asked me you know, what kind of hydraulic jack oil did I use? I just bought some, like I said, off Amazon. Well, links below, but I mean, uh, you could, might be able to use compressor oil. I'm not sure somebody else can answer that, but I had some laying around, so I mean, that's what I used. But it was very low. I was surprised. I mean, that they don't quality control check these things before they're shipped out. Now, as far as 
greasing the grease fitting here, it just took like one pump and then I could see it started to come out. So it did have enough grease in it. Um, how much does it weigh? Well, it's heavy, that I can tell you. From the literature, it says about 70 pounds. Now, if you want something lighter weight, you can look for an aluminum jack or if you have a shop, you may not want something you know that heavy or if you're mobile for some reason. So. But for me, DIY, this will be fine. Um, I knew it when I bought it because I picked it up. Yeah, they have a color selection, but I went with green. I, I just liked it, so it, it was like, you know, that's what I'll take. Uh, what do I, did I buy the extended warranty? No, it comes with a 90-day warranty. I don't want the extended warranty. That's just my preference. I'll figure it out within 90 days. I saved the box, but uh, I think it's going to work out fine. I don't have any complaints. I really like the jack. Now, the thing is, it says three and a half pumps. Um, you know, no, uh, it's gonna take you more than that. I knew that, I mean, but the difference between three and a half and if I have to give it six or eight, you know, pumps, it's not a big deal, the rapid part of it, not to me anyway. If it is to you, you can try it while you're out there, but no, it's, I don't think it's gonna do it in the three and a half pumps that it claims. Uh, would I buy it again? Yeah, I'd buy it again. I like it so far, but like I said, I'm kind of a new owner to it. But comparing prices and so forth, I think it's a good jack. It's not the top of the line best jack, I get that. But it's also not some, you know, cheap junky thing. There's lots of them being sold on Amazon, and I knew that if I bought this locally at Harbor Freight and there's a problem, I could take it back immediately. Uh, do I wish they had a longer warranty than 90 days? Yeah, but they don't. I'll have to figure it out within the 90 days. So that's my response to the question, uh, just my opinion. Um, do I have any stickiness like in the handle release bar of this? No, not at all. Uh, I don't know, it seems to work fine. I don't have any issues with that. So uh, if you do, maybe it's just a matter of using it for a little while for it to loosen up, but in my case, no. And a lot of times, like I did, I took this apart like immediately and played around with it to see if there's anything that I truly disliked because I could immediately take it back as I was going out that way. So far the answer is no. Yeah, I'd buy it again like I said. Okay, yeah, I read in the comment where people had trouble with the grease fitting on here and it was cheap, it broke, it did this, it did that. To me it just looks like an ordinary grease fitting. If you have a problem with the grease fitting on here, I took a look and made note of it that it is a six millimeter grease fitting and you should be able to get that from any auto supply store. So I, you know, the way I look at it is if the grease fitting was messed up, would I take the whole jack back and get another? Yeah, maybe, but look, for a 50 cent part at the local like auto supply store, which is closer to me, a lot closer than Harbor Freight, I would just replace it and figure forget it at that point. But I don't have a problem on mine, but if you do, I mean, just go up to the auto parts store, like I said, just replace it maybe rather than take the jack back, but you know, that decision's yours at that point. Uh, there's one complaint on there, and you might try this when you're out at Harbor Freight. Jack it up and make sure it goes up as high as you're going to need it to go. And somebody made the complaint, well, it didn't quite get up as high as they wanted it to, and they were going to take the jack back, spend more money, you know, and get one that goes up higher. Now. If you're talking about a one-off kind of a thing or some, you know, thing that you're only worried about this one-time usage, you know, get yourself a big fat wood block, put it on top of the jack and jack it up. But in that case, use jack stands and take some other safety precautions. But like I said, if it's just a one-time intermittent one-off thing, I mean, I'm not so sure I'd take the jack back just for that reason. In terms of height, what am I talking about? Well, the literature says 3.5 inches up to 20. Does it really go up to 20? I'm not so sure, but it comes close. I haven't tried it and measured it, but we could do that here in a second. When I finish the questions and answers, I'll just, I have it on the table, we'll jack it up and I'll measure it and we'll see. Yeah, it's about 19 and three quarters is what I'm getting off of, just from the top of the table up. So 19 and three quarters, 20 inches. Yeah, I guess that's pretty accurate. Okay, folks, so that's it for my quick review on the Harbor you know, Freight Daytona three-ton jack. Would I buy it again at the current time? Yes, I'm a brand new owner of it though, so I gotta use it for a little bit, but I definitely like the look of it. All the welds look good and solid on here. Like I said, it's made out of steel, so it's heavy. It's one thing you might wanna take into consideration. The other thing is, do the couple of steps that I did so you don't run into trouble. Make sure you got enough 
you know, of jack oil in there and just grease that fitting. It just takes a minute. Now, the other thing is I did go around and I sprayed everything with a lubricating oil that I have. I didn't have to, but I decided as long as I'm playing around with the maintenance of this, I might as well do the whole thing. Okay, so those are my thoughts on this. Like I said, I give it two thumbs up so far. Not a big deal to add more oil. Outside of that, I think it's a great jack. I'm the Home Handyman. I hope you click subscribe. I hope you keep following me. I'll see you on the next video, and we'll put it to the test on that golf cart. Thank you, folks. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.